Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's quick fix. Today I want to talk to you about how to get the best out of um, the more inexpensive watercolour paints. Um, I'm always keen to encourage you to buy the best kind of paint you can afford but sometimes when we're on a real budget um, let it's good to see what we can do with these paints and how to get the best out of them. And also sometimes I know some people who are new to watercolour, they might have bought some really fancy uh, expensive paints and it's a bit intimidating to use them. And it's sometimes really nice to ease yourself in with something less expensive. You feel like you're, you're wasting it less if you're a bit worried about getting started. So I've got two sets of... Um, uh, the more sort of affordable student paints. This one's from Simply Watercolour from De La Rowney, and these ones are uh, watercolour tubes from a company called Work of Art. So I'm just going to have a little look and talk you through how you can get the best out of them. The first thing I would say to really get the best out of your paints is to have a ceramic palette. Now you don't need a specific arts palette like this, you could just use a plate, a ceramic side plate, something like that that you've just got in the cupboard in the kitchen. And then what you're going to do, oh I've got a dirty brush, gosh, is to take a little bit of paint from your pot or your tube, seal it up, make sure it stays nice and airtight and then you're just going to use some of the paint in the palette. The, the thing I've found with watercolour paints um, from the more affordable student ranges is if you put lots and lots in the palette well or if you're just working straight from this and you keep the lid open for ages it does start to affect the paint. Um, huge amounts of paint in a palette well once they dry they actually crack and sort of fall out especially if you had a folding palette um, and it's just yeah it, it's just really wasting a lot of the paint and, and I imagine the whole point of buying more affordable paint is to make it last longer and enjoy your watercolours for as long as possible so get a little bit in the palette well and then you can really get the best out of that little bit of paint whilst knowing the paint is really nice and airtight for next time you need some more. In these simple sets you're often given a range of primary colours and a limited range of other colours so you're going to want to be mixing your colours together so again do that in your palette wells um, just so you can see how things go together on the palette rather than on the page because the more you will sort of brush and, and mix the paint on the page you're going to find with cheaper watercolours that you will get streakiness um, more uh, more often than when you're using the higher end paints. So using your palette to mix your colours before you go onto the page is a really good idea. And look, we can create beautiful subtle tones with these watercolours, but it's just about doing things in advance. Like that's a really beautiful kind of grey purple kind of colour that I'd love to sort of create a beautiful subtle kind of flower from. Um, you'd never think you'd get that colour from those kind of paints. Now the next thing that's really important and it kind of leads on from what I was saying about mixing colours is to really become confident with your brush strokes. I'm often talking about um, painting watercolour with as few brush strokes as possible even when we're using the regular paints, uh, the artist quality paints that I use in my videos. And that is because any watercolour is going to start to become dulled and overworked if you're painting with lots and lots of brush strokes and it starts to get a bit sort of sad and a bit uh, um, Whereas if you can do things with lovely singular or minimal brush strokes you just get a really beautiful fresh vibrant feel particularly if you're mixing two colors together so if I was sort of doing lots of brush strokes and then I'm going to get my blue and sort of get 
lots of brush strokes in there together it's likely that your paint will sort of remain quite streaky whereas if you're feeling a bit more confident to just put fewer strokes down you get a more vibrant color fewer streaks in your brush strokes so really do think about being confident with the brush to allow your paint to do the best it can and the last thing I find is these um, sort of more affordable watercolors seem to have a better time when working on dry paper and I think that's because when you work onto wet paper the colour begins quite vibrant but it really really fades down once it's dried whereas if you're working onto dry paper you get a greater sense of what the colour is going to be in the moment whilst painting it so try and keep your colours nice and vibrant on the dry paper and then there won't be too much change once your painting has dried. So I really hope that this has been a helpful little set of tips when using the less expensive watercolour paints. So it's all about getting yourself a ceramic palette or just a plate to put your paints on, mixing them in the palette before putting them on the page. You can see they don't sort of blend quite as nicely as um, the sort of artist quality watercolors and also just get confident with your brush strokes get a big brush and paint away and try to create uh, things with as few brush strokes as possible thanks so much for watching and i really hope you have a fun time painting